This video will show instructors how to edit and regrade a quiz that has already been attempted by some students. Once any student has attempted a quiz, you cannot add any questions, but you can make a correction in the case that an incorrect answer had been set up as the correct one. Once you edit the quiz to correct the answer issue, you must force a regrade so that the question is graded correctly. To correct this issue from your course page on CampusNet, go to the Activities block and click Quizzes. Find the quiz you need to correct and click the Attempts link on the right side. On the Grades screen that comes up, be sure the Attempts From pull-down is set for Enrolled Users Who Have Attempted the Quiz. Then click the Show Report button and scroll down to see the grades and results of each student's attempt. Note that if the quiz is set to allow multiple attempts, this page will have a setting for Show Only Attempts That Were Graded for Each User. And you should click that checkbox and click the Show Report button again. This will take the uncompleted attempts out of the results. In this example, we have discovered that there is a problem with question 1, so I will click the grade results under that column for one of the students. In the pop-up window, you can see that his answer of B is marked wrong, and it indicates the correct answer is C. However, we know this is not correct, and the correct answer really is B. You can even see the question feedback I added for this correct answer. Now I need to correct this issue. Close the pop-up window and navigate to the quiz in either the Activities block or the week it is in and click its name. Now click the Settings gear at the right side and click Edit Quiz. Click the name of the question that needs to be corrected and scroll down to the Answers section and find the incorrect grade settings. I will change the answer that has the 100% credit to None and change the correct answer to 100%. Now scroll to the bottom and click Save Changes. This will also correct the answer for the question in the question bank. Now go back to the quiz and click it. Then click the Attempts link again to see the report for enrolled users who have attempted the quiz. You will see that the student's correct answer is still marked as wrong. This is because we need to do a regrade of the attempts so that our correction is reflected in the grades. I could click the Regrade All button, but it is best to start by clicking the Dry Run a Full Regrade at first to make sure the change I made is handled correctly in the grades before committing the change with Regrade All. So I will click the Dry Run button, then click the Continue button that follows to see the corrections. After the Dry Run, we see the old incorrect grade has been marked through and the new grade shown below it. If anything is still wrong, we can go back and correct it before committing the change with a Regrade All. But in this example, everything looks correct. There are three methods that can be used to regrade. The Regrade All button, the Regrade Attempts marked as needed regrading button, and the Selection method where I can select some of the attempts and use the Regrade Selected Attempts button below the report. I will use the regraded attempts marked as needed regrading. Now click the Continue button to see the results. The first time you view this, the old crossed out points are still there below the new points, which show green arrows for all correct answers, indicating the changes that were made. The crossed out grades will disappear when you click Dry Run again.
Now, as final confirmation, I will go to Grades in the left menu and select the Grader Report in the pull-down. We can see the students' grades are now scored correctly. So that's how you can change an incorrect answer in the question bank and regrade a quiz. Thank you.